Hello everyone, welcome back to Tankers Club. In this video, we are going to talk about the T-34, the American Tier 8 Premium Heavy Tank. Uh, this tank is right now also in the store for 5,500 gold. And some players asked me to make a preview about this tank, if it is worth it to buy it or not, and stuff like that. Um, I mean, this tank is really pretty cool, the offer is also cool to get this tank for 5,500 gold with 30 days premium and the legendary camouflage. Look at this, that uh, falcon right there, that's why the name of the, this tank, T-34 Falcon and um, with the legendary camouflage warrior, you will also receive the attachment, the falcon and the legendary camouflage warrior. And uh, looks really pretty dope, so nice design, I like it. And I played also some battles with this tank and uh, something very important to say, it's really not for everyone. This tank is a beast if you know how to play with it, but this tank also has his weakness and the weakness of this tank is for sure the hull. We don't have a good armored hull, only 106mm for the front, so everybody is going to pin you. I mean, Every T7 or T8 or T9 tank has a gun with better than 106mm penetration. But the turret is great. We have here 280mm on the turret. Also from the sides, if you a little bit angle it, uh, the, the side of the turret is really very hard to pen. The rear also, we got 203mm on the rear armor of the turret. So the turret is really great, very hard to pen and that's why we have, we must to play hull down with this tank, especially in the beginning of the battle. I mean we have to save our hit points till we create a situation when your team is outnumbering the enemy tanks then maybe you can move and rush and take some shots, that's no problem. But for the beginning we have to play uh, really only hull down, show only the turrets so that the enemy shots are going to bounce and uh, Sneak your shots, move forward, and then go back to your safe position. So we need a lot of patience while playing with this tank. But for that, okay, the, the hull is very weak, but for that we have an alpha gun. We can make 400 damage per shot with this gun. We have, I think, about 12 seconds reload time, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, 12 seconds. And also a good speed for a heavy tank. Not the slowest one. Um, yeah, great gun as I said, I'm using the gun Rama for better DPM, but if you use calibrated shells you are going to pen anyone, but also without calibrated shells if you use a PCR, so that means you are going to have about 297mm penetration, so with that we don't need the calibrated shells, just use a PCR shells if you can't pen any tank, enemy tanks air, and you are going to pen them, that's why I'm using gun Rama. Enhancing uh, enhanced gun laying drive, the refined gun, yeah, for better gun dispersion and better accurate shots. The defense system, so I don't get easily amorect. Okay, so actually, we don't need the enhanced armor because we said the hull is really very weak, we cannot maximize it. So, uh, and the turret is well armored, so it's better to go for the improved assembly and of course improved optics for more speed and the high-end consumables what we don't need is the engine power boost so let's replace this first let's do it like this here we go so i don't push on multi-purpose restoration pack by by mistake when i'm under pressure that's why i i, I want to have the repair kit the first one then the multi-purpose restoration pack okay so now let's just jump to the battlefield and uh, try this tank i hope i'm gonna perform for you a good battle to show you how to play with this tank correctly i bought this tank by the way yesterday because as, as i showed you in the last video i got i'm so lucky i got this scepter for the second time from opening crates and i got 10k gold and um, because I don't have the T-34 yet, I just bought this tank and I also bought uh, the VK, uh, I don't know, completely the exact the, the exact name of that tank, the VK, the tier 7 premium tank, 
Um, I didn't vote all the bundle because I got the VK collector tank tier 10 German tank and I got also the VK 168 that's why uh, I bought only the tier 7 VK premium tank for 3500 gold and now I can also make a preview about that bundle show you how to play with all the tanks but now let's focus on playing with the T-34 Falcon here we go actually this map is really great to get a hull down position and from there sneak some shots we have good small hills here where you can conquer a hull down position and from that we can make a lot of shots for example in the middle here we can wait we can hide uh, the rear um, of my tank behind a building or behind a rock and uh, let's try to make some shots here we go can i hit the falcon right there look at these guys how difficult to pen the armor the turret of this tank really very very hard to pen you saw it even from the side that was all red T49 shot his shot now I can sneak a shot on him I'm risking a lot for, for this shot but it's very important to take out the T49 here we go so let's go back now I risk really a lot for that shot but now the T49 is out very important so now I'm trying to to help the projector 46 to finish okay nice he's already dead so till now I didn't perform to you a good um, battle to show you how good the turret of this tank is and the gun. But now here we go, damage blocked even from the rear, damage blocked as you can see. So maybe I can sneak a shot on the 112 glacial, here we go, here we go, here we go. And again, hull down, no chance to pen me. And then, no problem to pen the 112 Glacial with APCR shots. So, um, a very, very effective tank if we know how to play with it. So now I'm trying to sneak another shot on the Glacial. He can't pen me, he can't even shoot on me. That's why he was all the time just aiming on me without firing. Because he can't just penetrate my turret. Here we go again. And finished. So always say how down and nothing can happen to you with this tank. And with that powerful gun we can really send one enemy tank after the other to the garage. So uh, it's tricky, a little bit tricky to play but as I said if you know your weakness you know your strength. Um, yeah. Just great tank, nothing else to say. Look at this, 33 km per hour, so we have 34 km per hour, so um, really not that uh, slow heavy tank, but the aiming time is a little bit long, but yeah, it's normal for a heavy tank not to have the best aiming time so 1k damage 625 damage block third class uh, mastery badge and for only 1k damage how much credits 25k credits so this is really so good um, yeah for only 1k damage 25k credits that shows that the credit coefficient of this tank is really good so let's just play another battle with this tank and I hope that I'm going to perform in this battle a better gameplay so we can make more damage with more credits maybe more damage blocked let's try to do it or maybe get destroyed <laughs> from the beginning of the battle after 10 seconds like most of light tanks player do they go spot and get destroyed after a few seconds and then start blaming their team for not helping normal day in world of tanks splits i don't know why i need a lot of time to go in in the battle let's go out again and try it again 
Here we go. Okay, okay, we have Chimera or Chimera, I don't know how this thing is pronounced. The E75, Ties to Defender Project, okay, okay. Not bad, a strong enemy team. But we have also good tanks in our team, like the 50th BTP, like the Buras, like the 1815. Really great tank destroyer 1815. Also, if you know how to play with it, we have 4k DPM on that tank. This is really insane. So let's follow the Skoda. I hope he is going to spot for me some medium tanks. Look at this. This is gonna explode right now. Oh, here we go. Projector 46. Boom. So let's go to a hard down position again. Here we go, here we go. And the first shot bounced. Even from the side of the turret. No chance to pen this beast. Let me let me shoot you, mate. I'm gonna risk a shot right now because we have to finish. The Shimera. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna whisk it because the goal is to finish the Shimera. Here we go. Nice. So it depends what you want on the battle. So now I'm, I, I'm going hard down again so that they can't pin me. Already a lot of damage blocked. Very cool. Let's hide the hull behind the Shimera. Here we go. So I can stay here maybe and sneak a shot on the Project 46. We will see. Or on the Shito SPG. So as you can see, we need a lot and a lot of patience while playing with this tank. So now I'm trying to to get closer. To maybe the, the Shito or the Projector without risking a lot. I'm already not one shot, but I have already low HP. I don't want to risk a lot. I don't want to lose my HP. I don't want to die very fast. I want to stay alive as maximum as possible so I can help my team. So now I'm showing my hull. That's why the shots are going through. Very normal. Now he's going to pin me again. I have to hide my hull. Here we go. And oof, lucky lucky me. I need some help before I die. Screw that, come finish him. Projector is running away, very good. So as you saw, just normal. You show your hull, you get penetrated, you hide your hull, the shots are going to bounce. Very logic while playing with this tank. So now I'm risking again, I don't know if somebody is aiming on me, but I... Yes. I wanted to finish the Projector 46. That was stupid because the T-54 was waiting there to finish me. Yeah, whatever, we lost this battle, happens, but uh, I performed for you just also <laughs> what uh, mistakes you shouldn't do while playing with this tank. So yeah, if you show your side, you get busted. If you play hull down, show only your turret. Uh, you perform well, shots are going to bounce. So we need a lot of patience while playing with this tank. I mean, we, ha we didn't have the best team this time, but yeah happens happens so let's just play another battle i want to really perform a good battle with this tank for you so let's try to do it now i don't know why I need again a lot of time to get in the battle. Let's go. Oh no, now we are in, okay. And again against tier 8 tanks, very good. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's go left. We got already 4 heavy tanks going left. 
and the um, mediums are going medium side. That's okay, that's fine. I mean, if you go better, a big group together, you have a better chance to win, but four tanks left side, three tanks medium side is also not bad. Here we go, here we go. I'm in a good hold down position here. Let's take a DC Earth Shell so I make sure I can pen. No problem. If I'm in a hold down position, nobody is going to pen me. Here we go, there's another shot bounced. Look at this, that's what I wanted to show you. So we are going to distract all the heavy tanks. Look at this, this is the bounce show what I wanted to go for. Let's go back, let's go back. Okay, I, I wasn't... I wasn't good there. The projectile was so close, that's why he penned me. Maybe I can hit the AMX, here we go, nice one. Let's go back. And now maybe I can hit the projector, come on. Nice 500 damage, look at these guys. Insane. I hope the Canavan can finish the projector, nope. Maybe the Sumo, maybe I can finish the projector. We will see, no, I can't finish him. Let's roll back, let's roll back. The Shimera is coming so from the front. Anyone can pen me. I hope I can finish at least the Progetto. No, I can't finish him. The Black Prince is pushing on me. Let's try to get close to him, but I think he's going to finish me. Um, yes, that's it. But I think we're going to win this battle. We performed good actually. A lot of shot bounced. Um, I distracted the heavy tanks and the mediums in the beginning very good. Black Prince, Yo, Progetto were all, were all focused on me and I think that's why also my teammate got a chance to, to take out uh, the other tanks. And now, yeah, we did good, we did good. And also I think we got the Panther too. Made a great battle, 4 kills, very good. So yeah, this time this is a good battle. 2k damage. 1.3k damage block, so this is really insane. And uh, I uh, performed your battle, I showed you again. If you go hull down, this tank is really very hard to pen. And even I got destroyed, I made um, most damage uh, in my team. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, uh, this preview about the T-34, that you have now a better idea about this tank, if you wanna go for it or not, it's still your decision. I would say yes, this tank is a beast, if uh, correctly played of course, if not, don't be surprised that you're going to get busted very fast, get destroyed, if you play, if you, if you play, don't play with this tank correctly, okay? So hold down this tank is a beast okay so i hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video guys bye bye